Right, honey. <laughs> yes, my beautiful baby. Yes, honey. Sema. <laughs> Let's help women. You did not say me. Oh, Sema. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't take it as a surprise. You did. Okay. I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I was so focused. Uh -huh. So, um, why is it that women sabotage so much? I mean, men do it, yeah. but women seem to just really um, destroy themselves. And mm. just help us. Ah, okay. More women sabotage themselves than men. Mm -hmm. Men do sabotage themselves, but statistics will show you that more women sabotage than men. Reason being the use of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Yes. How they talk. Because women are more expressive. Mm -hmm. And remember, women speak every process of their thinking. Mm -hmm. So what she thinks, she says. And then after she's spoken all those things she needs to speak, she reaches a wonderful conclusion. Mm -hmm. Now, if you ever were to speak your mind as you're still debating with yourself in the wrong place, mm -hmm. then that statement you make is what will be used for or against you. It's like going to court. They say whatever you say will be used for or against you. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you know you're going to speak your mind before you make up your mind, you will sabotage things. Yeah? Yeah. You've noticed women will talk and they'll even ask themselves, what am I saying? Mm -hmm. That is fine. That's your thought process. It's called the lateral way of thinking. Yeah. Web-like way of thinking. Yeah? Now, if you want to open your mouth in a place where you're not accepted, you're not loved, you're not cherished, that very thought process is what will make somebody think you're confused mm -hmm. and you're not good for the job or good for the occasion or good for the relationship. Mm -hmm. They say you don't even know what you want. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Women know what they want. Mm -hmm. But the process of getting there is a back and forth a debate within their minds which they vocalize. So if they can use wisdom in expressing what they are thinking, mm. then they would sabotage much less. Mm. Okay? Yeah. That's the major reason a lot of babies sabotage. Their lateral way of, of thinking and talking. It's a good thing, but it's dangerous in the wrong place. Mm. Yeah? yeah? If you speak your thought processes with me, I'll indulge you, I'll just listen to you. Because I know this by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm. That's how women operate. Not mm. all men know this. Mm. So if a woman goes and speaks her entire thought process, she'll come forth as confused, disengaged, unfocused, unintelligent. And those are not true. Because she's only speaking what's in her mind. Mm. Ultimately, she'll reach the right conclusion. Mm. And usually women do, and their conclusions are always right. And when they follow them, they work. Mm. Do you see? So learn when to speak and when not to speak. So that's the reason why... Proverbs 11.22 says, As a jewel of gold in the snout of a pig, so is a beautiful woman without discretion. So lack of discretion is lack of the wherewithal or the knowledge to know when to talk or when not to talk. When to act, when not to act. When to take initiative and when not to initiate. That's discretion. So when a woman lacks discretion, even though beautiful, she will sabotage even her very wealth. She'll take money and muddy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. She'll take her own beauty and mix it with mud. Mm. Yeah? That's why this, this derogatory statement about blonde came from. Mm. That a woman is so beautiful with blonde hair, but when she opens her mouth, you go like, uh oh. You know, sometimes you can open your mouth without saying a thing. Mm -hmm. Just attitude. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Sometimes you can open your mouth by keeping quiet. Because silence speaks very loudly sometimes. Mm -hmm. So if you're quiet when you should be talking, that's lack of discretion. If you're talking when you should be quiet, that's lack of discretion. If you're acting when you should not, lack of discretion. If you're serving when you should be served, you're lacking in discretion. If you're doing when you shouldn't do, lack of discretion. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. That's what makes a lot of women sabotage themselves. Yeah. Number two, which is also a common reason, is when women are treated by their parents in a certain way. And this applies to men as well. So if your father was harsh and you meet a polite and kind man, you'll find the polite and kind man 
boring and repulsive to you. Because the Bible says, raise a child in the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. So if you are raised by a, a harsh father, then of necessity, you will want a harsh husband. But because you hate the way you are raised, you go for a nice, kind, loving husband. Yeah. And then you sabotage the relationship because his kind treatment makes him look repulsive to you. You are not raised that way. So you need to get to the word of God to replace that bad upbringing so that you start being open to love and care. Mm -hmm. This is where people start talking about love language. That nonsense people talk about yeah. love language. This is my love language. This is how to treat me. No, you're talking about how your father treated your mother. Mm -hmm. You've not even started talking about yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? And you know the result of the relationship between your father and mother. It wasn't positive. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're bringing into a wonderful, loving, and caring relationship. Mm -hmm. So women must get into the word of God to replace the bad, traumatic upbringing, especially by their fathers. Now, if your mother was treated badly and complained a lot, you'll find a woman becoming a grouch. She'll complain about the weather, it's too hot, or it's too cold, or it's too noisy, or it's too quiet, or it's too wet, or it's too this. Everything is this complaint. The first thing that comes out of her mouth is a negative statement, a statement of complaint, a grouch. Mm -hmm. Why? The mother complained about the bad treatment she got from the father. Mm -hmm. So she was raised in a complaining environment. Mm -hmm. So when she comes to a place where solutions abound, mm -hmm. she'll still find a reason to complain. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, the food is nice, but mm -hmm. it's a bit too hot for me. Oh, this one was nice, but the porridge is a bit too thin for me. I like it thick. So, they may be, they may be grateful. Thank you, but. They, they always nullify the gratitude with but. Okay? Yeah. You see, you can adapt to things. Like if you go to China, there's certain food stuff you just have to adapt to. Mm -hmm. Your complaining will starve you to death. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Do <laughs> you see? Mm. So that's one of the reasons a lot of women sabotage themselves. Mm. They are living the way they're raised. Mm -hmm. Yet they run away from it to the arms of a loving person. Now, their memory tells them a man should be aloof, a man should be abusive, a man should be harsh. You are not any of that. So I find you straight to relate to. Mm. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> so she has to learn the love of Jesus Christ, shed abroad in her heart. So that when she's treated well, she says, thank you. Yeah. What a relief. Yeah. I was never raised like this. I find it strange, but it's wonderful. Please don't stop. <laughs> don't stop. I like the way you treat me. Yeah. But instead of talking that way, yeah. they start acting the way their mothers acted. Yeah. So the relationship between you and her breaks the same way the relationship between the mother and the father broke. Yeah. The same with men. A harsh father will teach a man to be harsh or to be timid. It's either you are fighting the system or you yield to the system, but thereby becoming like him, or you, or you rebel against the system. Fight it, rebel against it, or yield to it. Some man will yield to the father's harshness, so it becomes a spineless guy. But he's very angry with him. So he gets a wonderful woman who loves him and cares for him and he sabotages the relationship because he's used to abuse. Mm. Have you seen that men whose mothers were overbearing on their fathers mm -hmm. tend to marry women who are overbearing? That's true. Or they train the women there who is to, to be overbearing. Mm -hmm. yeah. They sit back, they want the woman to take the leadership yes. because their mothers were like that. Mm -hmm. Listen, we need to be delivered from those old things. They're not scriptural. Mm -hmm. And you're delivered when you study the word of God, which spells clearly how a man, a husband, should treat the wife and how a wife should treat the husband. Mm -hmm. If you practice those, then you have a wonderful relationship. Mm -hmm. So if your parents divorced, you will divorce too. I promise you, you will divorce until you change the software. Your upbringing, mm. the information in your mind. Yeah. If your father battered your mother, you will be battered too, even by the most polite person. They, they learn how to beat because you teach them. Yeah? yeah. 
So if you change these things, then you can have a life of salvation. That's what salvation gives you. A new life. Anyone in Christ Jesus is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Everything must become new. Mm. Then marriage will work. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Wow, thank you so much for that teaching. Yeah. Till next time. Bye. Bye-bye.